Hello, I'm Nick Ross and I'm here to introduce you to Myasthenia Gravis and to the Myasthenia Gravis Association. Myasthenia Gravis, or MG, is often called the rag doll illness because it causes patients to have muscle weaknesses, muscles that they can't control without treatment. This patient, for example, is trying to smile. The more effort she makes, the weaker her muscles become. There are around 10,000 sufferers in the UK and Ireland, and the Myasthenia Gravis Association has been the only charity devoted to the care and support of patients and families. It's been going for over 30 years. So what is Myasthenia Gravis? It's classified as an autoimmune disease, a condition which means that the body's immune system actually attacks itself, weakening the voluntary muscles that control the eyes, the face, throat, and limbs, and the muscles that help us breathe. So if it isn't treated, it can be very dangerous, even life-threatening, and hence the word gravis in the description. Very often the first signs are droopy eyelids or double vision, with weak facial movements or a changed, often rather more nasal voice. More seriously, patients might have trouble with swallowing or with breathing. When swallowing is weak, patients can actually breathe in particles of food or drink, often without realizing it, and get pneumonia as a result. The arms and legs can also be affected, as you can see in this clip of a sufferer who's not taking medication. The cause of the weakness is actually very complicated, but it's important we understand what's happening because it tells us how we diagnose it and how treatments work. If you want to move a muscle, for example in the arm, then the message to do so starts in the brain and travels as an electrical signal down the spinal cord to the nerves of the arm. The muscle contracts in response to the signal. What happens at this neuromuscular junction is fundamental to our understanding of what happens in myasthenia. The problem is at the gap between the nerve and the muscle. When the electrical signals reach the end of the nerve, they cause it to release a chemical called acetylcholine, which diffuses across the gap and binds onto special proteins called acetylcholine receptors. That triggers off an electrical signal in the muscle, which results in the muscle contracting. When you want to relax the muscles, the messages stop coming down the nerve, and with no more acetylcholine, the system resets itself. The trouble in myasthenia gravis is that the immune system destroys some of the acetylcholine receptors, so there are too few to trigger the muscles efficiently, resulting in muscle weakness. And the harder patients try, the weaker they become, as you can see here. But with the aid of drugs, walking unsupported is possible. Because MG is relatively rare, many doctors may not have come across it before, but diagnosis will become apparent when the patient complains of variable, painless weakness and fatigue. A simple test is to see how long the patient could hold up an arm or leg, or stare in one direction. Blood tests for the damaging immune antibodies will help diagnosis, and electrical tests on nerve to muscle efficiency can also confirm it. Myasthenia gravis can affect anybody of any age, and at the moment, it's not curable, but it is manageable with medication to stop the breakdown of the acetylcholine ignition keys at the neuromuscular junction so that they have a better chance of triggering. Much more research is needed to find a cure and to discover what causes the autoimmune reaction to start with. The MGA is constantly striving to raise funds through donations and sponsored activities at local branch level to fund these projects. It also promotes awareness of the myasthenias by way of a free, in-depth medical CD, a wide range of leaflets, and a very comprehensive website. In the past, myasthenia gravis, if left untreated, often caused death. But thanks to a series of breakthroughs in treatment, that is now very, very rare. But the disease is still incurable. So please, help us to raise funds to find a cure for this debilitating condition. To contact the Myasthenia Gravis Association, call 01 332 290 
0800-919-919 or free phone 0800 919 922. The web address is www.mga-charity.org and you can email mg at mga-charity.org Thank you for taking the time to learn about Myasthenia Gravis and the MG Association. Your help and your support is very much appreciated.